Hey guys, welcome back to Laravel 5.6 and React.js tutorial. In this session, we're going to be um, have a quick introduction into the Rea uh, React router. And what essentially the React router does is allows us to keep our user interface in line with our URL. And what I mean by that is if we went to forward slash blog, it's going to show us a list of all the blog articles. And we're going to be able to click into one and it's going to take us to the slug, which we haven't set up yet. So it would be blog title one and then we're going to be able to access just the content for that specific blog post all right great um to begin with though where we left it off last time it was quite a long time ago and a lot has happened since then the arctic monkeys have brought uh, a new album out and let me know what you think about it uh, very controversial but yeah where we left it last time the code was a bit of a mess uh, to be honest with you there was no structure so to begin with, I would like to make a um, index file, and I've made it in the assets folder JS. Uh, so in the same directory as app, and I'm then going to make a new require here. I'm going to say dot. So we're in the same directory. Dot index, and what I'm going to do is. Come this out, save. Just to test this works, because I haven't <laughs> looked at the um, React for a long time, so. Okay. Yep, yeah, cool. Do, 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 do. Yeah, great. Yeah, so I'm just gonna keep the example component in the JS file for now. I'm going to change this to um, index. I'm going to change this to index. I'm going to remove everything within you. So that means that this is all going to be our default, um, basically like the home page where everything loads uh, because it's a single page application. Everything is going to be loaded in here. So all of our components are now going to come within you. So it would be forward slash blog and then basically how react works is it's going to look for this component but we haven't imported the component and to do that I'm going to say import and then I'm going to say blog because if you remember in our blog component it's called it's named blog here and then what are we yeah index I say blog. I'm going to import blog from dot forward slash components forward slash blog. Fingers crossed this works. Whoop, error. Unexpected token. Spelled from wrong. Build successful, refresh, cool. So now this essentially gives us a bit more structure because say for example, I wanted to add, add the navigation, I would just add the nav in here too. And I would import nav from components nav and it just gives us that nice flow. Um, and it comes in, you know, it just comes in handy to have that like just basic framework um, sort of structure which just separates things and then yeah i'm not the best with uh, react uh, and javascript um keywords and phrases so i'm of a php developer so if i don't say things correctly then that is why um yeah so where do we go from here now we've got our blog so that's important of the blog yeah we're going to want to install react router um, next Okay, guys, so now we've got our beautiful structure. What we want to do is we want to install React Router so we can actually make some progress. To do that, I want to open up my terminal. I'm going to exit out of this. I'm going to do npm run. And no, npm install, sorry. Oh, I've got it here. React hyphen router hyphen dom hyphen hyphen save. When you run the save uh, command, that essentially adds it to your package.json file. 
as a dependency and if anybody is to clone the project in the future and runs npm install it's going to install it for them automatically i don't need to run this because i've already got it installed but you guys should hit it and it should only take a few seconds and to use those um, components inside our project what we want to do is import it import let me do curly braces i'm going to do browser router so let's import the browser router but i want to import it as router because it's easier to type out router i'm going to do comma i'm going to import link to and root as well from the new package react router dom cool so save that i'm going to remove this blog element because we don't want the blog displaying on the home page by default. Save. Ah, I'm not running npm run much again. Run watch. Cool. Hopefully now nothing will display. I'm going to my Sublime again. I'm going to write out Router because I want to use the router component. Router and to use, I'm going to set up a div in here because the router component can only take one, um, like sort of direct child, and everything else we're going to do inside here. We can use a switch, um, but I'm just going to use a div for now. I'm going to do a root path equals and then forward slash the root directory of the site so if we access this it's going to take us to whatever we put as a component here for example i'm going to do example and i'm going to import let me just move this up here i'm going to import example the example component from components example, save it, refresh. We've seen the example component, lovely stuff. But what we want to do is we want to have like a navigation so we can click and navigate through the site. To do that, we use link and link to forward slash. So this is essentially like an air link. I'm going to say home. Save, refresh. Now we've got the home button. When we click it, the example component shows. But we want, we've got a blog component and we want to display that. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this, name it blog, put the root as blog, and display the blog component. This should give us a little error, which is perfect for showing you something. So now when I click home, we've got the example component, but when I click blog, we can see the blog components and we can see the example component, which is not very elegant. What I want to do is add exact to our roots. And now this looks for this explicit path, like exactly how it is. Otherwise, when we click in blog, it's detecting the root forward slash so it's loading the example component and it's also loading the blog component, which is not very good. So if I save that and refresh, Oop. this is another problem uh, that we're going to conquer later on. But because we're using um, like Laravel, whenever we're making a um, like root or whatever we type in here, it's making a new HTTP request essentially and yeah it's not actually accessing our work because the react is a single page application and everything loads on the root so that's one of the biggest problems with using react I think but yeah we're going to conquer that later on so I click blog blog now loads home loads great 